All right. Hi, Taurus. This is going to be your check-in message. She rolled the dice, and you guys came up next after Aquarius. So we're going to see what you guys need to know at this current time right now. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We have self-esteem. You know, Taurus does rule um, Venus. And Venus, you know, Venus isn't just a planet of love and money and things like that. Venus is also the planet of, like, self-worth, right? So, it says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Um, and failures here, guilt, death, ooh, growth, Jesus. Taurus, um, I understand that a mistake is an. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. And then, yeah, some of you. So this is failure, failure, guilt, and death. I am ready that endings are merely beginnings. I release any beliefs that no longer exist in my soul journey and growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Some of you guys' self-esteem um, is impaired by something that didn't turn out the way you expected it to. Taurus, you guys can feel guilt. There's a sense of failure. Um, yeah, something ended, or just things start quick and end fast, or I don't know. Um, this death card is it's like reminds me of the Scorpio energy. Reminds me of the um, the death card in Tarot transformation. Because after that, we have after the death card, there's the growth card. Um, some something could have failed for you guys, whether it was a job, a relationship, a long term partnership. Um, and when I mean fail, like it could have been a failed talking stage, it could have been, it, you know, it could have been a failed talking stage with someone new, it could have been um, a failed long term relationship. You know, maybe you realize it was just never gonna really go or move anywhere. And that sucks. I mean, we're with people for so long and like we were thrilled to love them. And a lot of times it's not really love, it's attachment. Oh shit, I, as I'm piecing the decks, as I'm like, um, I'm just like splitting the decks just for, you know, whatever. We have love here. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Um, sometimes, you know, it's, it's hard to, um, it's hard to like release that even when like shit is like fucked up even when we're betrayed over and over like the thought of something not working out makes us feel like we're failures you know um but something in regards to self-esteem Taurus could be um it could be if something could be you know kind of itching at you a little bit We have perseverance. Yeah, Taurus. Remind, you know, you guys are the bulls. We also have doubt here, empathy, loneliness. Some of you guys could be doubting an experience or doubting something because maybe even if you are, even if you guys are committed and with someone, or even if you guys are surrounded by a lot of people, you guys could feel lonely. Yeah, you guys could be feeling lonely right now. But um, perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And we have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enriches my soul. And then we have forgiveness, judgment, and fear, Taurus. And worry. What y'all got? And grief. Taurus, what y'all got going on? Gratitude indecision changes you know Tauruses don't really like changes Taurus, what y'all got going on um forgiveness i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love jesus okay Taurus, um whatever this is that is bothering you please and I feel like this is a specific message. Like, I, I feel like lately some of the readings have been, they haven't been as general as 
I feel like they've been very like specific. Um, I would say Taurus, don't let you know. Don't let um, the status or the lack thereof, when it comes to relationships and marriage and things like that, impair your self esteem. Don't and be mindful of how you um, monitor and what you accumulate your self esteem and your self worth from, right? Is it from um, material things, money, relationships, things like that, um, luxury or whatever? Be mindful of how you acquire your self esteem because if there, if it's from things that can be taken away or changed in the blink of an eye, then. And that's a lot of things in life. So, you know, it's very important, you know, imperative, actually, you know, more, well, same word, same thing, um, to build your self-esteem from the ground up internally instead of externally. Um, perseverance, um, whatever it is that's going on with you guys, just know that you guys will persevere through it. You can, you will, um, you can do whatever you set your mind to. Literally, you guys are the bulls. Um, you guys have the endurance for it and health, right? You, you um, make sure that you guys are paying attention to your health, your especially your emotional health, your mental health. Try not to overindulge in foods or any type of comfort um, to make yourself feel better because then that's yeah. Because say you use shopping or food um, as a way to comfort yourself if something changes in your budget or in your finances to where you can't do that you're going to lose your mind you're going to fall into pieces so try to learn um healthier ways to self-soothe that don't involve other things other people and things like that um some of you guys need to go to the doctor if you haven't gotten a physical in a while thank you guys if, I, i'm not seeing anything bad but um you guys could there could be somebody you need to forgive or who needs to forgive you. Um, because we got forgiveness here, self-esteem, perseverance, and hope. Yeah, Taurus. You know, make sure you're taking why I would say Taurus, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Make sure you guys are eating well getting enough sleep, drinking enough water. Make sure you guys aren't overindulging to feel good. I know that sounds cliche for Taurus because everybody's like, when people describe Taurus, they're always like, oh, food, sex, shot, you know. But seriously, make sure you aren't overindulging in things. And, you know, remember who you are, Taurus, with the self-esteem card. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. You know, whenever you get sad or whenever you um, lose faith and, you know, you get discouraged when it comes to relationships or just life in general, you know, remember your purpose, I would say. Remember your purpose. Remember who you are. Remember why you're here. And if you don't know what your purpose is, then maybe your relationship should be like the last thing on your mind. No offense. But, you know, if you don't even know what your life purpose is or you don't even have much of an idea of what that is, then a relationship and trying to hold on to people and things should be the last thing on your mind. Money isn't a purpose. Sex isn't purpose, love isn't purpose, you know, I mean, well, love it in, in a sense, yeah, but remember, we're here to serve others. We're here to share our gifts with the world. We're not just here to find romantic love, attach ourselves to someone, and then forget about everything else. We're here to, just like I was saying to Aquarius, we're here to evolve through and with others. So whenever your self-esteem starts to get a little wobbly towards, remember your gifts, remember what you're here for, remember what 
you know, remember what your purpose is. And again, if you have and if you're having trouble cultivating your purpose and you don't know what that is, then there's some digging that needs to happen before you can even think about a personal relationship, a romantic relationship. I'm not telling nobody what to do. You make your own decisions, you're a grown adult. But if you keep hitting the wall when it comes to the same person or the same cycle, the same type of people, then it's time that you it's time to kind of step away from that and step more into yourself. Because that way, the more you step more into yourself, when you come across people, they'll recognize that, and at least you'll uh, you know you'll get closer to the people who are kind of doing the same thing, and you'll be with somebody that's on your level. Don't let anybody make you feel like because one long term relationship or situation didn't work out, nobody else will want you, or this, that, and the third. Or don't tell yourself that you can't be with nobody else. That's very self limiting. And that's going to just, it's not going to put you in a good space. Focus on forgiving yourself. Be less judgmental. And don't be afraid of change. Don't, you don't have to have all the answers now. Um, you know, if you are, if you guys are going through grief, you know, grieve how you need to. Um, hire a professional if you need help navigating that. But if you guys are amongst a lot of people or in a relationship or have you're around friends a lot and you still feel alone there's then there may be some self-digging that needs to happen okay i hope this helps taurus um you know keep your health in check and remember you can do anything you set your mind to and don't let external circumstances and sources and people um interfere with block your self-esteem or diminish your self-esteem for that matter okay i hope they remember you know if you have to forgive someone forgive and i'm not saying forgive and forget but forgive so you can free yourself it could be affecting your mental health your emotional health your actual physical health um you know just make sure you just make sure um you're not harboring resentment towards people or a person and if this is somebody that is feeling that way towards you, then there's nothing that you can't really do much about that. You can't change that. So I hope this helps and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.